Okay, so I guess we can uh, start streaming now. Uh, it's a bit early, but uh, nonetheless, uh, let me just uh, create some <laughs> some basic stuff that we need uh, for today's project. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, create our first uh, VXM, and uh, we need to load a new palette. So I think this is the correct one, it is indeed. Uh, so what we're doing today is a clock cabinet, uh, hopefully it turns out uh, alright. So uh, we'll just get uh, going I guess. Uh, I'm just trying to think about its dimensions right now. So I think the base should be maximum 2x2 two two blocks. So that's uh, 64 by 64 and uh, I guess it can be half a block tall, that should be about enough and uh, we need to recenter our pivot point to the middle, let's see, like so. And now we can use our shortcuts uh, and fill this whole area in. So now if we attach that to root, let's name our node base and attach our model to it. That's gonna be the <laughs> base, of course. Mm. Now I think that uh, it should have, um, if we look at these global coordinates, it should have them at the back of it. Um, or does it actually? I think it should be in the back so it aligns nicely against the wall, so uh, we should move this forwards. So uh, actually the back of our model is at the center point here. So now we can start modeling our body. Mm, let's see. Let's turn on our nice lines. Let's extend it out a bit and uh, perhaps we can even downscale it so it's easier to work with it. And uh, let's see where do we wanna... Okay, we first need to select the appropriate tool, of course. And uh, we can also do with some mirroring. So... It looks better. Oops. Come on. Okay, we need to... <laughs> adjust our pivot point again so we can use our keyboard shortcuts. Uh, there has been a Vox edit update but uh, they apparently haven't fixed that yet so <laughs> we're still waiting for that. Also let's cut this out. Uh, that's the unneeded material and we can also yeah uh, a bit prematurely <laughs> trim our volumes. Uh, so this is more or less gonna be the body of our cabinet. So let's see. Uh, we can name it body I guess. Uh, that should be alright. And uh, yeah, we need to upscale it back otherwise it's not gonna look right. Okay, and then we'll have to figure out something uh, for the top and I think it shouldn't really be uh, so deep I guess. Uh, so let's just trim our base by half, so that's 32 and then we need to adjust our pivot point as well. Mm. Ok, 
Okay. So first let's move this one up so we can see what we're actually doing. And uh, okay, so this is this is correct orientation now, but we need to move it back again like so. And then we need to do the same thing for the body, so uh, we reduce it by 32, which comes to 24, I think. Yep. And uh, readjust our pivot point to 12, and that should be fine, hopefully. And also, I guess since it's gonna be back uh, to the wall, we don't really need this gap here. So, I guess we no. Uh, I guess we can open it uh, through here, so we can see actually how far the base goes. And that's like four, I think. So, we do twenty-eight and then fill it in and then I guess we can recenter it but we'll have to move it uh, anyway because now it's uh, centered and uh, now it's aligned with the back if we turn on this uh, collision boxes we can see that uh, now it's alright um, and I don't think this is centered properly as well so let's try and adjust uh, oh but it is okay so this is fine uh, now let's make it smaller to just uh, try and cut out some stuff to put our clock mechanism inside and also we should turn off um, mirroring by the z-axis thing okay uh, something like this i guess uh, and we would actually try to make it a bit diagonal diagonally shaped so let's see if we can do it somewhere like here to make the pillar uh, and kind of like a pillar and then here it's gonna be cut off and uh, done diagonally so uh, let's see so there's four and we need to cut here four as well like so all the way down and let me just think a bit so we need to cut this as well so we'll, we're trying to make it hollow, I guess, uh, so we can put our clock inside. I mean, not the actual clock, but like uh, those weights and stuff that moves around, like so. And now we need to cut here as well, something like this. And then just make it a bit deeper. Okay, so hopefully this is gonna make some sense soon. Also, uh, here's a slight problem. I think it would be a bit better if you used some other ratio. It might fit better. So let's see, perhaps we can do like two extra. That's four by six. Hopefully that adds up to something nice, and uh, we forgot to <laughs> upscale it, of course. Um, okay. So now we need our diagonal parts. So let's uh, duplicate our body and just name it diagonal zero. I think uh, could be an appropriate name. And then we just need a downscale. So this is four by six. 
uh, we can just we can delete it because of stuff. So let's just make it smaller. So four by six. Uh, it would be better if this one was six actually, and this one four. Okay, and uh, I think, yeah, let's just move our pivot zero zero. And how tall do we want it to be? Three. So let's see what we got out of this. So let's create a child mode, name it diagonal is you, like so, attach our block to it, and of course we forgot to upscale it again, so my bad. Okay, um, let's see how, how this actually aligns. Mm -hmm. Let's turn these on. Okay, so this is fine and here as well, but this is actually the incorrect corner, right? We would want to put it here. No, actually here. Like so, and then we rotate it. And it's a bit too short, so we can extend it a bit. Turn on our ghost and then let's see. 14 is enough. Let's see. Yeah. It's gonna have to be a bit more, or we can leave it like so, so it's not a perfect diagonal, but I think it's close enough, so let's see how much is the 120 bond. So we'll probably have to do some math here, but uh, duplicate mode, I guess, then name it diagonal 1. Let's put it into neutral position. Move it to the other side. And uh, well, here we're gonna actually have to use the diagonal one. Uh, so we just flip it over the blue axis. So it has the pivot point on the correct side. And why are these not aligned? Well, that's a, <laughs> that's a mystery. Well, here it looks fine, but... Mm -hmm. This is actually weird. Or I forgot to... Oh, it's not perfect 90 degrees, so let's fix that. And uh, hopefully this is gonna align okay nicely. Now well, let's see. So probably 59, I'm guessing. Uh, so 59 plus 121 is 180, so I guess that's... Uh, Pretty good estimate, and we can do basically the same. Uh, let me just duplicate this, maybe diagonal 3. Oh, well, it actually should be 2, so let's read it again. And let's do diagonal 2. And put it down. Let's see. How low can we go? 0, right? like so and then do the same thing for the other side 
So this is actually gonna be diagonal three, since we're counting from zero. So let's put it down to zero, like so. And uh, these at the bottom actually seem a bit thick, so we'll have to figure out something about that, but uh, that can wait, I guess. Uh, let me just do the same thing here, so that we can do, let's see, this is 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. 3, 4, 5, 6, and then if we move it to here, also we could just, uh, well that's not gonna work because uh, it's not filled on the side, but uh, let me just do the base layer and then we can probably just fill it in with the solid voxels so the, the thickness doesn't appear here at the bottom and uh, these hollow points should actually be glass but uh, there aren't any transparent blocks in the in the sandbox universe uh, as of now, so we'll have to do with that. Okay, so uh, here we'll have the room for our mechanisms and weights, and uh, uh, I'm not. I haven't decided yet if we want to put the clock face down here or up here, but uh, in any case we need it, so let's just create one, so I guess we need the clock. Uh, and it would be useful to know at least roughly how big this opening here is, so let's go. So 28, uh, that's interesting, well, this is what it is, so 28, no, let's put here 28 by 28, and uh, here I guess 4, oh come on, and I can't undo that, okay. That's completely fine. We put back 28 here and then 4 here. Okay, now we're talking. So I guess these clocks usually have like some kind of a copper or I have no idea what it's called. Um, like brass, perhaps. Uh, brassy looking. Uh, clock faces, so let's see, uh, we can just fill this in and uh, I guess if we sign, if we put the, if we leave the pivot at the bottom it should hopefully be alright, so let's create a clock node, so we can attach our model to it and if we put it like here let's see mm, actually doesn't look too bad uh, we can just put some stuff beneath it and uh, it could work out just fine but uh, we, we would have to extend this uh, down somewhat to cover the sides, but uh, we can do that later, of course. And uh, perhaps we can add the bottom ridge to the clock. Uh, let's see. We need to extend it for two more. And then I think we're using this color. So we can have some wood at the bottom as well, so... Or, or actually no. 
let's not do that. Um, let's do it on the body. Like so, like so, and it's really useful that you can see uh, how deep or how low this comes. So you don't have to count uh, everything. There. Okay, and there's quite a wide gap at the top, so uh, I guess we can do it at the bottom as well. Something like this, so it looks at least uh, somewhat symmetric. Okay, and I think uh, this yellow just stands out too much, so... Let's see what our, our other options. Perhaps something like this. Or even brighter. So let's see. Guess, I guess this looks much better. Uh, so we can do some more decorations at the top, but I think we should just stick with the clock for now, so we finish that and uh, we can move on to other stuff, so I also think uh, since we're gonna have to do some uh, some of those stick marks uh, around for like hours, uh, it's gonna be easier if we have our pivot point center, then you'll see in a minute why. So let's create a child node and then we can name it just um, tick zero. And we actually have to create a model for it, so uh, I have no better way to name them than ticks. <laughs> um, so they should be one by one by four. I guess, something like that. And uh, we need to adjust our pivot point so that we can actually use the keyboard shortcuts. Like so. And then... Okay, and I think if we put uh, Z Z, or, or actually this is Y, but uh, if you put it down a bit, uh, we can just rotate them and get a pretty decent uh, circular shape. We just have to put them outwards a bit. Okay, uh, so here we can just duplicate it. Maybe T1, put it here, and then what we need to do is move it back to the same uh, Z axis and then we rotate it for how much? So divided by 12. That's 30, right? So we can just duplicate this one to P2 and then just attach it and uh, we'll get everything going and now I think we should be able to do this. Okay, and you can see that here is actually a unique name since it has a 1 in parentheses, so there should hopefully be no issues when uh, animating or if we decide to animate uh, this Thingy. And now if we, well, we don't want to duplicate T0, we want to start with T1, right? This is T1, okay. So let's duplicate it, uh, our next is T4 actually, and uh, we got... That's actually interesting, if you see here there's T2 with 2 in parentheses, and here is T2 with double 1s in parentheses. Uh, quite interesting, if you ask me. Okay, 
And how many more do we need? Uh, if I count correctly, that's three. So let's duplicate this as well, name it P5. And now we need to go back down, attach it, and uh, yeah, we got our clock. And now for the great finale, uh, we can just move this down and it actually extends out, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, so we can put it to like minus 8 and uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good uh, for now. Uh, next thing we need to do is actually extend these diagonals, so let's just rename, well not rename, let's clone it into diagonal top zero and then attach it to the node that had diagonal zero first and then let's see how far we actually want to extend this so I think it was 28 the clock face and then additional 6 so that's 34 and we have 6 already so it should be 40 I think uh, let's move it down so we have it on the appropriate side and then just top count on of course it's not gonna work uh, let's see So the bottom needs to be 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then let's indent it by 1, just for the good measure, so we have some variety here. Okay, and I think this on the body should be... Uh, shouldn't be indented so it matches the the side thingy and let me just test uh, what it looks like if we indent it one more like so okay so that's not good you can <laughs> see uh, some weird stuff going on so let's fill it in and leave it as it is now we just need to uh, duplicate this diagonal to the other side, so clone it to diagonal top one. Uh, we need to flip it over blue, I think. And then we need to attach it to this node. Uh, I have no idea if this is oriented correctly. Okay, now it is. Now that the shadows aren't hiding everything. Uh, so we got this and now we just need to make like a chain and some weights and then uh, like that large thing that uh, moves from left to right. Uh, so let's duplicate this into weight and those are like tube shaped or something uh, so let's see uh, if it's 5 by 5 it should hopefully be enough and then make it like 12 tall so it doesn't look weird and of course our pivot points don't forget about them they need love and attention as well, so, yeah. Center your pivot points. Uh, let's pick our color. Let's make our mirror lines. And then let's just fill it in to the top. Let's see how big that actually is, so... Uh, 
that should be attached to the body as well, I guess. We'll, we'll just attach everything to the body. Uh, and uh, let's rename it to W0. I don't think we'll need W for anything else here, so it should be alright. Mm. This one looks actually a bit small. It could be a bit bigger, in my opinion. Uh, let me just check my reference images. Uh, or I can actually show them here to you. I have no idea why this is here, but... Uh, let's see... Uh, what an image I got. Uh, so something like this, and why am I sure? Oh, we are trying to mimic these cylinders, I guess. Uh, so it, it can be a bit bigger. So this is my reference image here for this model. So let's try to make it 6 by 6. And then I guess uh, at least 16. So. Let's see, and this, and this, and then just go. Now we don't let it colors anymore, and uh, also recenter to 3 by 3. Okay, so I think this is a bit better. Um, so I don't know how many we want actually. I guess we'll just put two. Uh, to make it symmetric, but uh, that's a minor thing. And also let's uh, make the large swingy thingy. Uh, so... I just... So yeah, I guess you could call it a pendulum, I just looked it up on Google Translate, so we'll just call it, oh, okay, we'll clone it and then we'll call it the pendulum, since I can't uh, think of a more appropriate word right now for it, so I think this one is gonna be only two voxels thick, and then we can make it like 24 at least, uh, so Let's see. Okay, uh, we, we'll add to it. I just uh, want to get a rough idea how, how large it is. So let's name it P0. So this is centered middle. And I think we, uh, the width uh, of the bar is all right, I guess. Uh, we just need to put the circular thing at the bottom. So we move it up, and then we can do like make it a bit wider, make it, make it well, just center the whole thing and then let's see how do we want to make this circle hmm. okay so that's it should be like so so this is an actual circle. Uh, let's see if we can fill this in. No, that doesn't work that way. Uh, so we'll just do it like this, I guess. Um, and also we need to put our pivot more to the top, like so. And cut it or trim our volumes and then just uh, move it up uh, to something like this 
Spotify. And also, I think we should uh, we should make the body not completely hollow. So uh, if we look from the bottom up, we can see the actual interior, which uh, I don't think is. I don't want to comment if it's a good or a bad idea, I just don't like it aesthetically, so that's why I'm trying to uh, fill it in here at least a bit, so... Oh, um, so like this, and then... Nope, we need it to then put it to the side and something like this here. So if we go back out, uh, yeah, we can't see, uh, we can't see all the way in. So this could move up a bit and a bit to the side so it doesn't actually get hit when this swings left and right um, and we would also need something like a chain to hold this up but uh, wait a sec that's the that's the wrong one and that's the weight okay here Let's see, uh, this is 6 by 6 So if we make it a 2 by 2 that should be completely fine uh, Okay Add our mirrors and then just extend it out a bit So let's see Okay, so now let's duplicate it and move it to the other side. So here it has 12 and then here it's going to have negative 12. Okay. So this is more or less for our basic layout and uh, now we can uh, start making some details and polishing it up. Uh, we also need uh, the long and the short uh, clock index. So let's uh, duplicate our, let's not edit it, let's duplicate it. So let's create a clone, uh, name it index zero. And it's gonna have to be so which is index 0 actually? <laughs> the long or the short one? That's the good question. Uh, I guess this one is gonna be 8 and then we'll see uh, if 8 is appropriate for the long or the short one. Like so, and then we create another child node uh, for index 0 since we have no clue if it's going to be the long or the short one. It's just going to have to do. Uh, I guess this could be the short one. And then we just duplicate it to index 1. Extend it out a bit. Uh, it could be, I don't know, 11. Sounds like a good number. Um, then let's just duplicate this node, make it index 1, and then attach our new index, and also I think if you move it to like 2 point, yeah it doesn't want to move half point, um, let's try to do it like so, so we move it instead of point half, Move it. Uh, okay, so for some reason it's detecting. Okay, 
it was detecting like I was pressing the shift key, um, which I wasn't, but uh, hopefully it's fixed here as well. Okay, so and now it doesn't overlap weirdly if it comes over one of these sticks. Um, and they should probably be a bit darker since you can't really tell them apart from the rest of the clock. So let's go and edit that. Uh, it could be like some darker gray. So that's the fourth one from the left. Uh, and we can wait a sec. Let me just move this one. Okay, so that one is fine. And then let's also recolor this one. Uh, okay, and uh, now if we move it over it, there is some zip, well, some fighting because they overlap perfectly, but uh, we, we can we can fix that as well. Uh, so we just need to uh, move our pivot point slightly off center to like point six. Uh, hopefully in the right direction. Okay, so they don't overlap anymore. And uh, we can put it uh, like at whatever layout we want, something like this. Uh, or maybe it should be, yeah, just <laughs> slightly over 9 since it's like 6 or 7 minutes past it. Um, so there's that, and I'm just thinking if I wanna, or what do I wanna do at the top, uh, or is there anything even required to be there? Uh, but since there's a pretty hefty block at the bottom, I think uh, we should do something, uh, something at the top as well, so... Let's uh, add, hopefully, the last uh, child to our body, so it's gonna be called top. And then uh, let's duplicate our base and name it top as well. And let's put it here and uh, move it to the top. Like so. Uh, move it forwards, so we have everything aligned at the back. Mm, and now I guess we can try to sculpt something out of it, or I don't know. Uh, let's first uh, trim it down so it doesn't hang over too much. Uh, like so. And now we can trim because that's the most uh, the most amount we're gonna go over it. And uh, well, let's see. Something like a cover and then hmm. What can we do here? Let me just check some images get some ideas. And so it's basically just uh, some wooden decorations. Let me uh, show you something like this at the top. Uh, I don't think that making it like really circular is the best idea since it creates many faces, but uh, we could try to do something like this. Let's see. Mm, let's also turn on our nice lines so we can see better what we're doing. And uh, now we're trying to make it like a wave shape or like a sign shape. So it starts uh, slowly and then 
kind of builds up and then it also ends slowly. So let's see, we got four, three, two, one. And now if we do the same thing again, we do two, and then we do three, is this three? Yep. Okay, and then we do four. Something like this. Um, just a really simple shape. Let's just uh, make it a bit taller. So maybe if I two. Uh, like so. And then we just uh, need to, yeah, you need to be careful where you're clicking. Uh, let's just extend it all the way to the back. And then we can trim our volumes again. And uh, that's it for our basic layout. And now we can, uh, well, let's say first, uh, that's always a good practice to save your hard work so it uh, <laughs> doesn't get erased if something unfortunate happens. Um, and now we can start making some details. So let's see. Uh, also, let's try to mirror everything to here, and uh, perhaps we add some shadows to the bottom, some highlights to the top, something like this, I guess, and then we can add just some, or we could make it actually hollow, that would probably look pretty cool. Uh, let's see, like so, and then let's try and make it like another circular shape inside. So, let's see, four. Yeah, we can, we can't do much more than this at this size so let's just see if we do it like this oh it adds some uh, 3d effect to the whole thing and then we can also maybe put the put some more highlights here as well let's see Okay, just some really simple colors, uh, and they do the trick. Uh, let's repeat a similar process for here, and uh, here we can do like some more here in the corners, and uh, we can simply repeat this pattern for the top side, so we'll do something like this I guess, and then just some small shadow here, or actually since this is like a chain, we could do something like this uh, to make it a bit, a bit uh, textured, I think, I guess, and also let's just but it's not the best that they have to be like so. So I think uh, this is all right as well here. We don't need to spend too much time on these uh, smaller details, but it, it actually adds a lot to the whole thing as, as a full asset. So here we'll try to do some corner decorations, I guess. Um, to make our clock a bit more interesting and uh, 
here we actually need to switch our mirroring direction or axis so here is three here's three so like another one yeah but that's that's uh, to that's uh, to boxy already they're trying to make like a nice uh, circle around like so hmm I'm not too happy <laughs> with it, to be honest, so let's try something else. See, so we got two of here, three, then one, two, one, two, and then one, uh, but this... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be rough to find a good uh, good way to make a circle because they can easily look a bit wonky. Let's see, can we do it this time? It's better, I think. It's definitely better, but. There's still some room for improvement. Oops. Let's see. Something like this could work. And... Uh, yeah. Let's not spend too much time uh, over this. So, let's see. Then we can do something like this, just making some textures. I oh, don't know. Uh, also, it looks a bit too checkboxy, so uh, let's fill some of this in. Something like this, perhaps. I don't know. Let's zoom out and see what we got. Mm, and it actually doesn't look terrible. I think it looks better than here. And I just got an idea that we could just maybe trim them uh, even a bit further. It doesn't really hurt. And then we can do like a small circle on the inside here as well. Something like this. Nothing too fancy, just something really simple. Or perhaps even like here. Let's see. These are two under and three to each side, right? So something like this. Um, yeah. Um, so let's just try to do some circle shenanigans. Okay, so this looks much better, if you ask me. Uh, like so. So we got our clock faces and uh, I guess if we wanted to be really fancy we could do uh, which is the right direction this is right uh, we could do something like this oops let's turn off our mirroring and let's see what happens now hmm. I don't know. Might might be a bit too much. Might be just a bit too much. So I guess uh, we're fine here. So let's do our body next. Just adding some shadows. 
And also, since there is no indentation here, I don't think it makes much sense for it to be at the bottom, so let's just get rid of it. And then also, we can cover this in. Okay. And uh, for the side, I think we can go with some simple pattern. Uh, turn on our lines. Mm, actually, let's do it like this. set some margin at the bottom as well okay and it mirrors nicely to the other side let's see okay and uh, perhaps we could also just make it slightly lower so we can do something else for the top part uh, something like this and then let's just erase the unneeded stuff and then we can do something like just some diagonals quite some diagonals to fill in the uh, three block space I mean uh, three block high um, and the last one like so okay and then we can well actually this is the darkest color we can get so uh, that's more or less it uh, about what we can do here let's check it out okay and then we need to figure out something for here as well so let's turn on our ghost and I guess we can try to do something similar here as well so two then down two and then we can just fill it in with some darker shades and I'm not really too sure if I want to do uh, any other fancy stuff and if we check here we can see that we're just like by one off so i think i'm just gonna make it slightly shorter like so so uh, these two can actually align and then we can have something here at the top as well so let me just check out how much room I have uh, with this so let's see so not much uh, it's basically just two uh, ok 
Okay, we can add just like a strip of uh, darker color. So, let's see. Put it here. And then fill it in. Like so, and then uh, do the same thing for our side. Of course, we need the line tool, not the surface tool, I think, what it's called. So, let's see. Fill this in. I think it aligns quite well. I'm just not sure about this part because it looks really boring. Uh, and I think we can just do some random stuff with it. And make it look a bit more interesting or not as plain. Uh, something like this. And then let's see, like so, and then here as well, we can count on three, four. I guess um, that's something. Uh, it, it definitely adds to the whole thing. And I, I just didn't want to mirror these axes. Uh, <laughs> That would be just too lazy, I, I guess. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, let's add some highlights. And okay, so there's some overhang from this, but uh, that's not really problematic. Uh, now I'm thinking if we should do the same thing here with the body since we made some highlights there I guess it would be appropriate to make them here as well and uh, in just a second let me take a sip of my water <clears throat> much better Okay, uh, now next thing we need to do is duplicate this diagonal and attach it to its appropriate node. So let's duplicate diagonal dot one, flip it over blue, and then attach it like so. Okay, great. Also, let's try to make a minor highlight here at the bottom. Of course, well, that was unexpected that shortcut stopped working all of a sudden but yeah like so and then uh, we can just add some textures here have something like this or perhaps it would be even better if we did it like so not like that like, so, like this now, okay, and now let's turn off our mirroring. Uh, actually, I don't know if I want to texture this wood or not, um, because there is not really much stuff to do with it, so it might be unnecessary. Uh, we can do some of those dots here as well. So let's move over the red. 
And then uh, perhaps we can do some of the brighter ones at the top. Mm. Or uh, actually the top should be just a line so it matches with the rest of the asset. Like so. Okay. Uh, so we have this diagonal there. So we need to delete the diagonal 1 and duplicate our diagonal 0 as well. Uh, since we made some changes to it. And let's attach it and let's flip it. Okay. So that's it for the diagonals. We got our weights, we got our pendulum. And it's surprising that actually this circle in the middle, that's like thing I adore the most right now about this uh, asset. Looks really cool. So let's do something similar here, just doing some... Oh, come on. I hate it when <laughs> the shortcuts break. Um, Okay, let's do like a highlight, and since this is just two voxels tall, uh, I think it would be better if we did it like a saw, like every four or something. Uh, so, nope. It's the wrong number. There's four right. Perfect. Then let's do the same here. Or something like this. Okay. And uh, do some. Let's do something similar here at the top, so we get some. Uh, like a Santa aliasing going on. And then just ex extend it. Or should we actually extend it? I guess it can be just like so. Uh, perhaps we can extend it a bit. But it doesn't have to be all the way. Uh, so let's just do it like four voxels and that's gonna be it. Uh, like so. Then we need to do some shades for the bottom part which is uh, gonna be kind of indented I guess. Uh, let's see. Three. Uh, three. Two, one, two, three, and here we just finish it, something like this. And then we can do the major shadow with the darkest shade, like here. Um, and I think it would be appropriate to do something else. Let me just think a bit. So something like this. Uh, and if we did it hmm. I guess that's some kind of a wiggly line that can that can represent some decoration. Uh, I'm just not sure if it's fine that it touches that one, but uh, from afar that doesn't seem to be, that really doesn't seem to be a problem. So uh, perhaps we can extend it even a bit further. 
So let's see. Let's not do that. So like so. Let's see. Maybe something like this. Uh, it could be. It could be. And maybe just some. Does this stand out too much? Hmm. Maybe just something like this. No, I don't like it. Uh, mm, so for the body, I think we can make just some uh, lines for texture, just here and there. Let's not overdo it. and then perhaps we can do like a square shape here let's see if that works uh, it does work but I'm not too excited over it so we'll probably get rid of it um, let's just first add a shadow here and it will probably have to be the whole surface and that actually wouldn't be a bad idea to uh, do it as well for the main part so, so. And now let's get back to the body uh, let's fill this in. Did I pick this color? Okay. Maybe like this. Just some stuff here in the middle. And then for the other side as well. Just doing some textures. Just some random stuff. Let's see what it looks like. So this looks fine in my opinion. Uh, let's do it for the diagonals as well, just a dot here and there, like so maybe, and maybe here one and here, just so it doesn't look too new, because this stuff can last some time, and also let's not do it here, perhaps, oh come on this and this okay great something like this and then we can do something similar on the other side maybe here and here okay uh, so, I'm not too sure if we should even do anything at the back since it's probably gonna be against the wall, so uh, we can add that later if uh, necessity comes. Uh, also, let's just add some 
random stuff here in the back so it doesn't look like we for completely forgot about it uh, but it's not the main point of our uh, asset so there's not really much point spending too much time on this just some stuff so people don't say we forgot about it or anything <laughs> And uh, perhaps we can do it even here on the side. I mean, why not? If we're doing it, why not do it properly? Here, right here. Nope. Where did that one end up? Okay. Something like this. And uh, I guess we can fill this in as well. Like so. Just so we don't have uh, unnecessary faces. I mean, we probably reduced it by two, but still. Okay, so I guess this looks like a pretty decent uh, old clock we would see somewhere. We just uh, need to do something with the face, and uh, then we're more or less finished with this asset. Uh, and don't worry, we, we got some other stuff we can work on uh, since uh, we finished kind of early with this one. So, four, four, maybe three. Three, four, five, six. And one, and then maybe like eight. Something like this for the highlights. Do one here as well. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe the last one here. Okay. Uh, now let's move to a darker shade. Do it like so. Turn on our lines so we can see what we're actually doing. And uh, three from here. Okay, uh, let's fill this in and uh, we could actually do here, let's see, uh, perhaps we should start here for the, so we start from the middle actually something like this uh, or actually it needs to be like this and then where's the middle the middle point of this here who would know right uh, so I guess we can just uh, make a bit darker shade here so it's like indented Let's see. Uh, so it's two to two. Oops. Uh, Think that's really gonna work out. Um, so let's get rid of it. Or we could do. Uh, hmm. 
What do we want to do here, actually? Let's see. We do like three and just some stuff. What? <laughs> okay. Um, let's not get overworked on this part. And okay, here it doesn't mirror anyway. Uh, like so. Maybe do it here as well. What else? Another one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This could this could work out well. Mm. So I think this looks pretty fine, but uh, I was just thinking if we could. Uh, if we should add some brighter tones to it, uh, though I'm not too sure about it, we can try it out. Uh, let's see, so it should probably be brighter here at the top. Perhaps like this. Uh, well, then it would probably have to be darker at the bottom, and this is just horrible. So, let's see. Perhaps we can do something in here as well. Something like this. Uh, I'm not really too sure what it represents, but uh, it's there, so... And uh, here we can do like 4, I guess, 6, eh, that's fine, let's see. Hmm. This is good. This base is. I don't like it. I don't like it. So let's get rid of this stuff. Let's get rid of this stuff. And let's just do something similar uh, shaped, but uh, just on the inside. So just something like this. I think this fits better than uh, what we had before because it just uh, looked all over the place. And here we can actually, I think, do some highlights here as well. So that's also nice. Okay, I think this looks way better. And uh, we can do just some of this. I really need to think out a name for this, uh, like teeth that uh, just come and uh, make everything blend better together. And then we can do something similar here at the bottom, uh, just with a bit of a different interval in between. So something like this. And then three and three. Uh, let's do it like so. Okay. Let's save our changes. And uh, here is our clock, more or less. Uh, all that's left is uh, animation, so 
I don't think uh, anything uh, really difficult uh, needs to be animated here, so we can do that quickly. Uh, so let me just rename this animation to idle zero one. Uh, let me duplicate it into I don't know block zero one. Uh, and uh, for clock, well, the starting is gonna be the same as idle. And I don't know how long do you wanna make it. Uh, I usually like to make it a 10 seconds for the full clock rotation. So at 5 seconds, we need to rotate it 3 further. From here, three, and then at the ten seconds, oh, we need to one, two, three, oh, run. So forty-three seven, and okay, awesome. Let's just check. Uh, oh, we'll have to put the long way rotation there. Okay, so this. looks fine and then for our pendulum let's see uh, we can put it like into one like this so these are four <laughs> for 15 degrees uh, to the right from our viewpoint and then after five seconds it needs to get to 15 and then at the 10 it needs to return into neutral so this is a bit slow and oh my god what's going on there uh, the okay uh, that shouldn't be happening <laughs> what's going on with this guy oh my god mm, i guess i can Try to play around with it later, but it's really weird what's going on. So here it goes fine, and well, okay. So apparently it was just randomly lagging out, and now everything is fine. Um, so I think this can uh, this can move slightly faster from left to right. So if we so five second interval is a bit long, but for ten seconds we don't really have other options. So perhaps we can make it like three seconds long, and then we just reduce it to nine seconds or something. Uh, the whole length because it needs to be nicely divided otherwise it's gonna swing uh, wildly from one side to the other so we got one and a half second here three seconds down here then we need another three seconds to move it to uh, 345 right and then it just moves back to neutral uh, up to here and we should also move these keyframes uh, so they finish at 9 seconds So this moves here, here, and it just stays there. So it starts moving to the right, and it also should 
finish moving to the right. Uh, but that's not really the case. So I guess what we have to do is... Uh, or we could do, put it to, to like uh, 12 seconds, I guess, even. Make it even longer. Uh, so here's our problem. We, we actually have just three rotations. We should actually have uh, four. So we got a seven and a half and then at a ten and a half we need to have it at fifteen and then at twelve we have it at neutral and then we should and just ignore this part. <laughs> so it moves right, moves left, it moves right, and then it does just something weird. Uh, so this should actually be deleted and this should be moved there. So it moves here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. So let's uh, check it out again. Okay. And all we uh, we need to do now is just animate these weights. So when it's in neutral, both of them are in neutral. And then once it moves to one side, uh, I think this one should move down a bit, so I don't know, by 4, uh, maybe and this one just moves up a bit, by 2 I guess, uh, then as it moves to the other, this one goes by 6, and this one moves down by 6 like so and then we go to seven and a half where this one is top and this one is bottom and then we move to ten and a half this one is at the top and this one is at the bottom and then at 12 we got them both in neutral again so let's see okay and uh, also this is all linear movement, so I think this should be at least uh, quad in, I think. And this one is quad in out, in out, in out, and this one is quad out, I think. Let's see. Actually, it should be. Uh, it should be reversed, I think. <laughs> it just started lagging again. Okay. Uh, so, okay, now now everything seems to be working out. That, well, and uh, just as I say, it starts to lag again. So now it moves fine, but now for some reason it does it again. So uh, I guess we're done with this. I, I don't really wanna. Uh, Try to figure out why the this part is lagging, um, so we can figure out that later. Uh, so we got still some time, and uh, I guess we can move to some uh, other project. Uh, so that's it for the clock, I guess. Uh, it took us like 90 minutes to make it, uh, as well as animate it. So I think we did a pretty good job here. Uh, so let's move on to something else, right? Um, 
So this is our last week's project and uh, this was teased like 14 days ago. Uh, but I made some progress on it off stream and uh, hopefully we can do some more progress on stream, right? So, uh, and this this is a pretty, pretty large asset. Uh, as you can see here at the bottom, uh, each square is like a block, so a regular humanoid is like as tall as the wheels, so you get a rough idea. <laughs> Uh, so let me just uh, figure out when where I finished off. Um, I think I was here at the cannon, um, and it could use some more details, right? So let's just get going. Uh, let's start mirroring over the x-axis so we don't have to repeat everything we do on one side on the other as well so let's try to be at least a bit efficient uh, so smoothing out a bit uh, these corners and then we could do something similar here as well just uh, smoothing it out a bit Okay. And now let's turn on our lines and uh, try to do something similar here for the back part. Um, so two, two, nope. And these are actually three, right? Okay, three. And do this one, two, three, four, five, three, four. This one is the long one and one beneath it as well. Like so. And then here. Something like this. Okay, we're too off, so okay, there's the same. And then uh, let's do something similar uh, like so and then two below something like this and then uh, for the darker shade as well to find out our middle part or something like this let's see here's like four uh, let's see how many we can squeeze in like so and I don't think I can actually do it here as well. Five, six. Just a sec. Four, five, six. Mm. So we would have to get rid of this one and maybe do it something like this just some creative mess uh, let's see here's five four and here's like six uh, but whatever I guess um, that's not too big of a deal let's just uh, mirror everything to the bottom side 
so we can have like this nice uh, nice shaped pattern and also if we wanted to we could add even more highlights here at the top something like this perhaps even something like this So let's do the same thing uh, for this side. And uh, now that I see it, I think uh, it would be appropriate to just go all the way here as well. And uh, let's see, there's no middle ground, so I guess we'll have to just make a darker outline here at the bottom. So, then uh, do it here as well. And I think we can <laughs> mirror this uh, to make it a bit faster. Or we cannot actually. Let's create that idea and uh, let's just do everything manually. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's for the sides and uh, hmm, for the top. Let's see. What can we do with the top? Uh, uh, here we can mirror, right? So. Hmm, We did something like this. And that's a pretty sizable platform. Uh, maybe we can do, we can split it into two. Do something like this. And then perhaps we can add some uh, exhausts or something like that uh, let me just think a bit something like this and then Let's just see where this uh, brings us. We do some uh, stuff here. Then we cut it off. And then if we repeat it, And then uh, do the same thing. Okay, so this is uh, just the same part. So this is six, now it's eight. And perhaps we can just add another 8 for good measure. 
and we have uh, just like four of these uh, covers or whatnot uh, here at the turret. So let's get rid of this. <clears throat> and now another thing I like to do is just make it a deeper black here at the middle. And uh, let's add some uh, screws at the corners. Like so. And uh, we could try to do like this. Uh, so it's like indented or outdented a bit. Um, and we could do something similar here on this side. Mm. Though I'm not too sure about that. Uh, let's just try to get here maybe. Four. Maybe like they're somewhat connected and uh, we can do something like this to make it look a bit um, sloped to one side. So uh, we'll just do it like so and then perhaps add a bit of shadow. Um, let's not mirror that, right? So, shadows should be at the bottom, like so, let's see. Mm, perhaps it's missing some orange, mm, that would definitely fit. So let's try to squeeze in some orange here. Something like this, and then let's do a bit of an outline, then maybe just do something like that. Uh, that's not necessary. I think this is already pretty fine. Like so, and then uh, we need to figure out something for the barrels, and let's just save everything so it doesn't go to waste if uh, something unfortunate happens. And also let's turn on our lines so we can see better what's going on. And now let's fill everything on the inside with a bit darker shade and hmm. I was thinking about making some indentations for uh, for emissive blocks so we can do some fancy animations later well not in this stream definitely because uh, we're probably gonna end it soon, uh, in like 15 minutes, uh, it's enough for today. We got some good, uh, good, good work done, so... 8, 2, 4, 5, 6... Two, two, four, six, eight. 2, 4, 6, 8, okay. So five, four, six, seven, eight. Five, six, 
6, 7, 8. This isn't 8, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. And then we need to scratch this. 4, 6, 8, okay. Like this. And there's gonna be at least two more of them. Okay, that's fine. I guess um, five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. How much room have we left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's see. If we add one here, then delete one here. What did I actually do here? Two, four, six, eight. Oh, so they are just thicker. Mm, two, four, six, eight, and then three, four, six, eight. And then we need to make a three gap. Two, four, six, eight. And then a three gap four five six seven eight okay and we can color this with the dark gray as well and uh, perhaps we can even mm, let's see can do something like this to make it even to make it appear even more deep than it actually is so something like this and then add some highlights here at the top um, I guess one way to do it is just like make a complete outline and then just um, coloring the parts we don't want highlighted <laughs> actually uh, that's one way to do it at least so let's see and now it's actually quite difficult to judge what we want to keep and what we don't uh, so let's see <laughs> something like this and then let's see maybe something like this three and then two well, soon is gonna start from the other side, so... Okay, this is fine. And now, let's see what we're gonna do here. Three, and then three blank. Then maybe two, and three blank. Maybe even four blank. And one, four blank let's just get rid of that all together um, on the outer side we can let me just <laughs> okay so this is Three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, or let's do six and then one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then leave one, and then we can do it like ten, I guess. Two, four, six, eight, 
pen, v1, and then that's more or less gonna be it. Uh, something like this, I guess. And then uh, also let's put some more highlights here as well. Something like this, and then uh, a darker shade at the bottom. I'll just uh, try to keep it symmetric. Uh, and I think it might be actually better if we did it like so. They would be more equally spaced, right? Yeah, it's 5 and 4, and before it was probably like 3 and 6, at least. Uh, I need to convince myself it uh, helps out. Yeah, it's 3 and 6, yeah. Uh, let's just fix that. So we have something like this. Let's zoom out. Okay, that's a pretty mean looking contraption. <laughs> mm, perhaps we can make uh, like some Some stuff appear here at the top as well. Um, well, appear it, like uh, <laughs> some color tricks with indentations and stuff. Let's not play wizards here. Uh, let's see. So it's therapy. Like so, <clears throat> and we also another nice thing is that we don't actually use any additional faces for doing stuff like this. Um, so, people's computers aren't gonna lag as hard if we add a bit more details. Um, So I think this should be a bit down. And then maybe make it a three like so. And then let's make just some outline to give it uh, some more depth. Something like this could work, or we could do something like this, and maybe uh, like this here. And let's also get rid of these corners, so it's a bit more... Uh, so it's not as pointy, I guess. And then we can uh, we can do some stuff here. So let's see, four, six, eight. Okay, this one is gonna be a bit larger, but uh, no worries. Here, and this would actually be kind of good if it was mirrored to the bottom right. So let's just do this, do this, uh, let's also mirror this, like this, okay, and now let's here. 
here is 8, right? Let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's see how much we do in this here too, of course. It's actually perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. Ah, I guess that's fine. Let's just recheck here. 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. So the cannon is pretty much symmetric. Mm, I think I might add some stuff later on here at the top, but otherwise uh, this is more or less finished. I just need to animate it, you know, the, the fun, fun stuff. So uh, I guess uh, the time is nigh. Uh, we have been streaming for two hours. Uh, we have also uh, pretty much finished uh, our tank, uh, or at least uh, what was left to be finished. Uh, so hopefully you can uh, soon find it on the uh, sandbox marketplace uh, and whatnot. But uh, nonetheless, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed, uh, perhaps learned something new, and uh, I guess we see each other next Friday probably. Bye! Uh, let's 